We have snow around the area. It's been light to occasionally moderate over most of the area, but we do have some moderate snow now over the southern portions of Wisconsin and through the lakeshore communities. And this is kind of what we were expecting with some of that snow sliding through. We have uh, lake effect snow warning in place for Kewanee County, also for Manitowoc County through 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. The most of that snow is going to fall overnight. Door Peninsula, Door County is under a lake effect snow advisory. A little lighter snow in those areas. And then a blizzard warning in effect for Sheboygan County. That runs through 3 o'clock on Wednesday because not only did they get the lake effect snow and the snow tonight, but they will be at the northern edge of the big storm that comes up towards Milwaukee and Chicago. We will see a little bit of light snow from that one. 13, 7 a.m., 19 at noon, 22 tomorrow afternoon. Light snow pretty much on and off through the day, but it's going to be less accumulation than we saw today. Severe weather index in the moderate category. Light snow, slippery streets overnight. We will see heavier snow in the lakeshore bands. And if you're driving up and down 43, be careful because you could see visibility is reduced quite dramatically in those lake effect bands. Light snow is expected on and off through Wednesday, but most of the accumulation will occur through today and the overnight hours, and we'll see the accumulations really drop off tomorrow afternoon. Sturgeon Bay currently at 16 with snow moving through, and it's 19 snow moving through in Manitowoc. We've seen visibility is down between one and two miles. Manitowoc, Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, where the snow has been picking up a little bit. Snow lighter over the western parts of the area where visibilities are obviously a little bit better. 16 right now in Green Bay and in Appleton, 19 in Manitowoc. And you can see those blizzard warnings from Sheboygan County down through Milwaukee, northern Illinois, and then extending all the way back to Oklahoma City as in anticipation of this big storm that's going to be moving up. Right now, we have light to moderate snow across much of Wisconsin, but this is going to shift off towards the east as the storm kind of intensifies to our south. So we'll have the snow light to moderate through much of the overnight. After 2 or 3 a.m., it's mainly going to be lake enhanced and lake effect snow. The next storm comes up tomorrow afternoon, bringing snow to Madison and Milwaukee, but especially to the Chicago area where they will see a lot of heavy snow moving through overnight tomorrow night. We're at the northern edge of that. You see the northern edge of that storm getting right up to about Green Bay, clipping some of the lakeshore counties as it moves by tomorrow night, and then slicing off towards the east. The net result is that's why they're going to see much more snow in the lakeshore areas and southern parts of Wisconsin, over a foot in Chicago, around a foot in Milwaukee. I think they'll see 8 to 12 inches from about Manitowoc right down through Milwaukee and then out into the western portions of Illinois. So 4 to 7 through the Door Peninsula, 2 to 5 for most of the area, but then 6 to 8 in Mishkot and Kewanee and areas along the lakeshore seeing heavier amounts and could see as much as 8 to 12 in Sheboygan. Tonight, light snow. Another inch or two tonight, 13 for the low. Tomorrow, light snow, about an additional inch. Obviously, much more along the lakeshore overnight and tomorrow morning. And then on Wednesday, light snow south. Some flurries north, 22 for the high temperature. 15 Thursday, 21 on Friday, 26 Saturday, and some more snow. Super Bowl Sunday and into Monday. Would like to point out that you can check all of this online on our interactive radar and our interactive features. You can click on a camera and pop that open. You can go to highlight the National Weather Service bulletins and pull those right up on the screen. All you got to do is right click, read the warnings. It goes for the warnings not only here, but also the warnings in Dallas if you want to check that out. All right, a lot of people interested. A lot of people going down Thursday Tomorrow, you know. The drive's going to be a mess. It is, and the flights aren't going to be that much better either. No. All right. Next.